by our partner. And then for, from now on, for that time until now, the world evolved between Indian and ASEAN is get deeper and deeper. And from sectoral dialogue partner become dialogue partner, and now become a strategic partner. Okay, as as uh, uh, my colleague said, ASEAN has three pillars. First is uh, political and securities. The second is uh, economics. And the third is uh, social, cultural, all these three pillars. The Indian has a very deep involved with us in all sectors. Uh, let me let me take for examples. No, so I'm not about examples. For the securities and protocols, any security issue arise in our areas? Indo-Pacific area that you can give me an example. Anyone? South China Sea. Yes, thank you very much. South China Sea is one of the hotspots in Asia. Uh, piracy in the Strait of Malacca, human trafficking. All of these things is the common problems, common security threat to the. To the to the regions, right? and Indian and ASEAN has a very good cooperation in this area, either through the mechanism called ARF, there's a lot of uh, minister, ministry come to talk together, or even in, in that, uh, what we call ADMM, ASEAN Defense Ministry meetings. They all come together and talk and try to find a solution to combat this kind of problem. Kind of crime, traditional crime, human trafficking, illegal fisheries, piracies, South China Seas. All things is Indian has a very active role in this. For the economy, economies, you know how we have a lot of corporations, both government and private sector and yeah, basically that private sectors. You know how much we trade among each other? This year is around one billion, almost one billion. Look like a lot, but in my opinion, 